Hey, what's up guys, Tommy here, back again with another video. And today I'd like to talk to you guys about my electric motorcycle build and when you should expect the next video on it. So recently in my comment sections, a lot of people have been asking, when is the next video on this thing going to come out? When is this thing gonna get built? When are you gonna ride it off into the sunset? And my answer for that is soon. And by soon, I mean within the next couple of weeks. Um, so basically there's not much work that needs to be done to it. Um, I basically need a bolt for the rear shock. Uh, you know, I gotta get my front brake on. I got to, I need a spacer for the inside of the uh, headset bearings. Uh, I gotta get my controller mounted as well as getting the proper wiring to connect my controller to my battery. And that's about it. I have my battery coming in the mail. As you can see, there's a mock-up. I made sure that's, you know, to the exact uh, sizing of my battery uh, so that I can fit everything in there properly. And I'm gonna have my controller sit up here. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be too long. Um, hopefully I can get a video up uh, three weeks from now and hopefully you guys are happy with that answer. I also have an other, a couple other questions I asked about it. So one question I was asked is how powerful is this bike going to be? Well, uh, it's 72 volts by 150 amps, which is about 10.8 kilowatts of power, roughly 11 kilowatts of power. Um, that's pretty big considering that my zero to next puts out about 3.6 kilowatts and a Suron puts out about five kilowatts. Those are two vehicles that I've made uh, a lot of videos on uh, in my channel. So this is definitely a huge upgrade, uh, upgrade in terms of power. Uh, the battery I got for it is um, 72 volts by 40 amp hours. This is an exact mock-up of the battery, not the actual thing. The actual thing is gonna be here in a week. I think I explained that earlier in the video. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be pretty powerful and I'm excited to see, you know, the top speed I get on this thing. I'm hoping for 60, um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyways, on to the next question I was asked. Now, something some of you may be curious about is what is the size of this bike? Now, I'd say it's comparable to about the size of a 250cc motorcycle. Um, it's quite large. The seat height is about 36 inches. As you can see with my shoes on, I'm six foot one and uh, the seat goes, you know, all the way up to my crotch area and I don't, I, I'm not actually bending my legs. I have my feet flat on the ground. Um, it's a pretty large bike. As you can see, uh, this is what it looks like with me sitting on it. Uh, it's definitely not small. Um, and I think if you want a bigger bike or if you're a bigger person, uh, this is definitely a good uh, option for you if you want to build an electric motorcycle. So the third thing I've been asked about is my tires. Now, um, people, I think are curious about these tires because you don't really see them anywhere. They seem pretty unique. Um, and you can actually get these tires off of Alibaba. Um, you just look up a uh, front motorcycle tire or 19 inch motorcycle tire and these should pop up. Um, I would definitely recommend these. They're, you know, like 60 bucks. So about the same as just any name brand uh, motorcycle tire. Um, but they're super high quality. Like these are actually probably the best tires that I've ever owned out of all the vehicles uh, that I have that I've had including you know Hondas and Suzuki's um, these are actually super nice and I love the tread like I'm absolutely in love with these tires um, and finally I've been asked about my motor and controller kit and I'm actually going to tell you why you should not get this motor for this specific bike build now this is the QS273 motor it's an 8000 watt motor and you shouldn't get it because it can handle up to about 30 kilowatts of power. Now, okay, how is that a downside? It's really not. But you see it's, you know, little brother, the QS205 motor can handle up to 20 kilowatts of power. Easy. You know, it's probably not even get hot with 20 kilowatts of power. And this bike only puts out about 11.8 kilowatts of power, which is well under 20 kilowatts of power. So what I'm getting at is, Yes, this bike will work with this motor and be just as fast, you know, with this motor as any other motor, but it weighs 15 pounds heavier than the 5,000 watt motor, which will work, you know, just as well with this bike. So you're basically spending more money to get this motor as well as, you know, you have an extra 15 pounds added to the rear uh, rear of your bike, which it just makes it harder to control. So I would recommend to anybody to look at 5,000 watt motor kits. Don't make my mistake 
I definitely would recommend that unless your bike is going to be putting out, you know, 17 plus kilowatts. Stay away from this motor. Uh, I mean, I can't tell you, you what to do, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for this video. If you want more information about this bike um, and more updates on my channel, follow my Instagram account for this channel, which is just Enoprism, just like you type it in on YouTube. Um, and yeah, you guys have a great day.